This is Wednesday, the fifth week in Ordinary Time. It is the Feast of St. Scholastica. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary, who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, wouldn't it be nice if we could sit all day at the feet of Jesus? I don't think that's quite possible in our daily lives. Um, you know and I know that there are certain things that we absolutely have to do every day. And so this gospel for me points out that, that real um, challenge of staying close to the Lord, taking time in prayer, listening to the words of Jesus, but at the same time doing what we have to do. You know, Martha uh, was trying to be hospitable, but in reality, she, she missed out on what was going on with Jesus because she was so busy in the kitchen. I jokingly say, uh, she should have said, well, fine, next time just call for pizza. or. Uh, but you know, I, I'm sure some of you have done this. I mean, I know I've done it before. You invite people over and you're so busy about the details and everything that you have to do. But when it's all over and everyone's left, you kind of say, wow, I didn't get to spend any time with my guests. I really didn't get to get into a conversation because I was so busy. We can be that way in our lives. We get so busy about all this stuff we have to do, all these things that need to be accomplished, all these things that we think are so important. What is most important, brothers and sisters, is that we take time with the Lord. And if we take time with the Lord and we allow the Lord and his word and his being bring about change in our life, I think it also affects how we do things. Maybe the next time we won't worry about such an extensive meal. Maybe we'll worry to do a casserole or something that's easier so that we can take time with our guest. Jesus Christ wants to be a guest in our home. We need to be hospitable. We need to take time with him and focus on him, for truly he is the better part.